Hello, my friends. Um, I just want to update you on what's been going on with me and this campaign that's been on hold. Yeah, I've been away for a while, like a few months. You see, I was getting to the point of being overwhelmed from just being online and on Facebook. The barrage of bad news and BS going on everywhere in the world. So if you're paying attention, and activists have to be paying attention to know what's going on, well, it can begin to feel rather oppressive and depressing. And I just had to get away for a while. And I know you understand what I'm talking about because I've seen some of you doing the same thing, getting away from the computer for a spell. And so anyway, how was my vacation from the real world? Oh, it was fantastic. I enjoyed myself so much, so much that I decided to let it continue into another month, feeling just a little guilty that I wasn't making videos for a money-free world. And then I got busy with other stuff because, as everyone knows, winter is coming. And I had to get firewood together for the long winter here in the mountains of Colorado. And I had to stain the outside of my house, which I couldn't put off anymore. And then we had to harvest our hemp, which is fun, but time consuming. And by the way, we need more machinery and automation in the hemp industry. Instead of making tanks and weapons, we need to be making columbines for harvesting our most valuable crop. But that's another story. So anyway, I finally get back on the computer, back on Facebook, and I see that someone is just trashing me on a post that someone else had made about my campaign. It was a TVP coordinator saying it's stupid that I'm running for president, which I'm not doing, which you'd see if you just take a few seconds to look at my website, where right at the top of my home page it says, elect a new socioeconomic system for president. And right below that, it says, it's time we elect a new socioeconomic system based on science and logic and sustainability rather than an individual perpetuating outdated economic systems and traditions. We can replace the office of president with a council for intelligent management of our resources, a council that we the people nominate I am just the messenger of these new systems. So that's what it says. No, of course, I don't want to be president. I want a new system that doesn't need a president or a supreme leader. And this is not about me. I'm just trying to educate more people about our unsustainable reality in this system. Hey, I hate politics as much as the next guy especially when you understand that it's the system itself which is inherently producing all our problems and that all this talk about new laws and new policies, well, you and I know it, it won't make any difference. A new system is the only thing that can solve it. And when you understand this, then politics really drives you crazy. Anyway, this guy goes on saying that I don't understand a resource-based economy and that I'm ignorant. Now, I don't mind being called ignorant by capitalists when I'm talking about a new collaborative, sustainable, humane, science-based economic system. But when it's coming from the people I'm trying to help that I've been making videos for for almost 10 years now, it's kind of depressing. You know, so I tell him to check out a couple of my videos and he gets back and says my videos aren't that good. So, okay, I don't understand a resource-based economy, I'm ignorant, and my videos aren't that good. And thank you, TVP coordinator, for your, your kindness and your compassion. And I'm wondering now, do I really want to deal with assholes on the internet like this guy? Maybe I'll take a few more weeks off and think about it. And I did. <laughs> but I was also thinking about many of the Venus Project supporters, maybe a majority of them, who don't want anything to do with politics. You know, after all, the slogan is beyond politics and poverty and war. So 
Hey, there's nothing that I want more than to move beyond politics. Unfortunately, in this system that we're trapped in right now, it's all about politics. Everything is politics. So you might as well try to get your ideas in the discussion. I, I don't know why you wouldn't want to have your ideas heard anywhere and everywhere, in any venue and platform. But if that's what a majority of the TVP supporters want, then I should respect their wishes and not bring their ideas into the political conversations. And that's okay. There are plenty of other similar organizations and ideas out there that, that I support. Buckminster Fuller in his World Peace Game, Peter Joseph in the Zeitgeist Movement, the, the natural law economy, Colin Turner in the Free World Charter with an, an open economy and open access economy, Michael Tellinger with uh, Ubuntu contributionism and, and, and Copiosis, Perry Gruber. Hey, there's a, a lot of them out there. All these things are very similar to. We're all promoting new economic systems that are sustainable, that, that move from capitalism and selfishness to collaboration and sharing working together rather than being forced to fight each other. And yeah, we see where that takes us. So anyway, I have to motivate myself now to make more videos for the movement. And uh, now, hey, there's another reason why I'm moving a little slower these days. This was the year I turned 70. Yeah, can you believe it? I, 70, I'm now officially an old fart. And as George Carlin said, hey, you gotta use this getting old business for all it's worth. Sure, I'd like to help you move out of your apartment, but I'm, I'm 70 and my back, I got back problems. And now I can flirt with younger women and uh, no one will take me seriously. Oh, don't take him seriously. No, just humor him. He's harmless, I'm harmless. I'm old. <laughs> so if I can get myself in gear, I'd like to make more videos talking about a collaborative economy, an open economy. A revolution is what it'll take, most likely. So we'll be the party of the revolution. And science. The science party. And, of course, the money-free party. Freeing ourselves from the money changers. That's what we want to do. And, you know, I'd like to put up a new video every week. But it's, it's a lot of work to do if you're doing it yourself, which I'm doing, you know, to turn out one a week. So I can, you know, just talk for a few minutes about different aspects of a natural law economy. And I don't know, nobody else seems to be putting up any vi videos like this. And I, I really just want to hear somebody talking about it. So maybe I'll just do it for me. All right, that's it. You're up to date now, I hope. 2020 is a great year for all of us and for this revolution, for a new socioeconomic system that could actually take care of our people and our planet. All right. Peace out. <laughs>